Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an idea pin on desktop because I did a video where I did one on the app and there are a lot more options on the app for stickers and links and that kind of thing, but you can still link from the desktop once you post the idea pin. So I'm going to get to that at the end of this, but the first thing you want to do is go to your Pinterest account, click create up here, click create idea pin. And this will bring you to the page where you actually create them. Now, if you don't have anything stored, and I do have a few drafts that are stored, so I'm going to be working with one of those, but you can just click Create New. And you can either use the URL, which will then pull pictures in from that URL, which may or may not be the best idea, depending on what orientation they are. If it's the long pins that Pinterest likes, that's fine. If they're shorter, eh, it's better to make a pin that actually fits so that Pinterest likes it more. And they will still show product pins and that kind of thing, but it's better to have an assortment. And if you're going to create a pin, then it's, you know, just make one, just make one yourself. So you can search for your pictures here, or you can do this and see they're using, they're, they're recommending that you have the size. You don't have to have a specific size, but it's better to have a two by three orientation so that it's short and it's longer on the side. And that's basically what Pinterest likes. So I have already uploaded some. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do this one because I have the link for this one. Oh no, it's this one. Never mind. So I have a few and they'll store these for 30 days. So you see it says three days until expiration. So I need to come in here and post these or Pinterest is going to delete them. But basically what I've done is I did a whole bunch of videos of me using the silicone molds and I uploaded them to YouTube and then I downloaded them and I uploaded them to Pinterest. So they have the YouTube watermark, which is not ideal. Pin you know, all of these apps prefer not to have the watermark from a different program. It's, it's all right. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that. So basically you can add text if you want to, and I don't, but if you do, you would type something in here and then you can choose the font over here. You can choose the size of the font, the alignment, the color, and you can change things a little bit, but it, there's not as much as you can do on the, um, you know, as, as on the app. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to delete that text box because I don't want it on there and I'm gonna click done. So when you're done, and you can upload multiple images, you can add a page here, you can add another one, just keep adding them. And I think you can do 20. So you can do a lot of pictures if you want to do that. But on the desktop, there's no way to control how long they're showing for. And it's a five second default, and that's kind of long for this kind of thing. So just be aware of that. And we're going to click done. Now I will say, I say that, but I will say that Things change a lot on Pinterest. So it could be that they'll add more things to the idea pins on desktop, but I doubt it. Anyway, all right, so I already have the title. I've already got the board that I want to tag um, or pin it to. I've got, um, let's see, I've got all of the tags here. Now for tags, you just start typing and see what comes up and just choose something that fits. Be, don't, you don't have to be 100% accurate. Like they're, they're not going to have a tag for C or for sand dollar silicone mold. They're just not going to have that. But they might have one for under the sea cake. Let's see, under the sea cake. They have one for mermaid party. So yeah, I'll put that on there. Okay, but it doesn't have to be ex exactly right. But just put things that would be appropriate. You can let people comment or not. I always just turn it on. But if it got spammy, I would turn those off. You don't really have to answer comments, but sometimes people do ask questions. So if you don't want to answer questions, just turn that off. Add the details here. And I just always choose notes because it just gives you a blank format and it, it will try to give you bullet points, but you can just hit enter twice and it'll turn into a paragraph. So there's that. And then advanced options, you want to make sure that this is toggled off because if it is on and it's on by default, Pinterest will show other products that are similar to this and they might not be your products, but those will be attached to your pin and you want to go in and make sure that those are turned off so that other products are not attached to your pin. All right, so when you're done, click publish. This will upload it. Now I only have one page. They call it each picture a page and this is a video, so that's okay. If it was just a still photo, it's not the best to only have one in an idea pin, but it's all right. It's a video, people will watch it. And I'm now going to edit this. I'm going to go to edit the pin and I'm going to add the link. And this is the link on my website that will take you directly to that listing. Okay. And this looks like it's going to, let me see if I can save that. Okay. The little pause button for my video recorder was right over it. So we hit save and now it's edited. And now the link here will go directly to my website, the listing on my website that is for that sand dollar mold. So people will be able to go directly there from the pin. 
So that's basically how to make a, an idea pin on Pinterest on desktop. You see that you don't have the stickers, you don't have the, the same text options. It, it's a little bit different. You don't have the audio, you don't have the music, but if it's just a, a video and that's it, or it's just a bunch of pictures, it's okay. It's not, it doesn't have as many bells and whistles as the app does though. But you do have to come, as far as I, my account is concerned, you do have to come into the desktop anyway to add the link because you can't add links directly from the app at this point on my account. Some other people do have it. Pinterest tends to roll things out at, at different stages for different people and different accounts. So eventually this will be completely different. When you come in here and you hit this create button, it might look completely different. But don't worry about it. Just kind of poke around. You'll be able to find where things are and it'll work essentially the same way. So that's all. Leave me any questions and I will talk to you later.